friends, today we're making this awesome wreath in honor of Martin Luther King Day. The materials needed for this craft are available at everyone's homes. All you need is a paper plate, some blank pieces of paper, scissors, tape, a pencil, and some skin tone colors. I'm using these Crayola Colors of the World crayons, but we're not advertising Crayola. If you don't have these colors, you can use some colored pencils, paints, markers, or any art supply that you have. This wreath is really simple. The first step is to cut the center part of this paper plate. So all we're gonna do is cut along this little line. So first I'm gonna make a cut here, and then I'm going to cut into the circle. And it doesn't have to be the best cut. Okay, so let's put this off to the side. We won't be needing that. Let's take our tape and tape this little uh, cut that we made. So all you have to do is stack it over and tape it. Next, grab some sheets of paper. I have several, and then I'm, you're gonna fold them all in half. We're going to trace our hand on it and this way when we cut them out we're gonna cut many hands at the same time so then I cut them out and here's how they look so I've got a lot of them color all your hands you can use any shade and I bet this is gonna be a fun step for all kids because who doesn't like coloring? I colored all of my hands. So now you can color them with any material you want. You don't just have to do crayons. So here's how cute they look. They look really nice and colorful. Take your paper plate base and then take one of your hand cutouts and then take a tape, piece of tape and tape your hand cut out to the plate. This is how it looks. It looks so good. And to add extra support, I even taped the back of the hand print. This is how our wreath looks. You can hang it up on a wall. Or it can be a photo frame. It's so cute and you can take so much pictures and have fun with it. 